What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Ostentoski here of Maize and Brew, bringing you another Michigan basketball highlights video. This time, Michigan pulls out a win over the Texas Southern Tigers. 82-66 is the final. Not the cleanest of victories, but Michigan got it done, right? A win is a win is a win. Not the same that can be said for Ohio State or Michigan State. <laughs> so before we dive into this one, let's try to get this video to 200 likes. You guys did really well in the last one getting there. Helps grow the channel. You know all the good stuff. Okay, that's enough of me. With that, let's dive into the highlights here. Okay, getting going. 24 here, you got John Walker starting it off with a nice air ball there. <laughs> They're the, wor the fifth worst shooting three-point team in the country. Digging sit down low with the basket there. Here you have Franz kicking out to Eli Brooks. Boom, three-pointer. Five to nothing early on. Here, Walker over to number 11, John Gilliam, passing it out of bounds. That guy isn't there. Here, nice little ball movement there to Franz Wagner on the drive. That's a nice basket for him. 7-0, that's a really difficult shot over Franz. Doesn't work out. And then here's the name you need to know, Michael Weathers. He does everything, all right? He gets their first points. He gets most of their points. Uh, able to put that one in, 7-2. Eli Brooks says, I want another three-pointer. Bench loves it. Terrence Williams with the arms up. 10-2. Ooh, Weathers with the shortest shorts, also known to man. Nice little basket there. He got to the rim early and often there, though. Bulls over Mike Smith. I swear his hair just keeps growing every game, right? Poofy. It's glorious. I love it. Here, number five, Jordan Carl Nicholas with that shot. Nice shot there. Um, here, I want a good floater there from Mike Smith. Uh, they kind of get away with murder most of this game against Hunter Dickinson. Watch down low here. This guy just shoves Dickinson down. You can see they're fighting, they're fighting, they just kind of shoves him <laughs> off to the ground. Doesn't get called. Uh, Mike Smith makes it right by making that basket here. Scary play here. Davis, nice little pump fake. That guy bites extremely hard on it. Scary play. Thankfully, he's okay, but Davis gets fouled on that one. Here, Davis, good defense down low. Staying vertical. Not getting a foul called here. Johns, poor pass there. It's a turnover. Mike Smith showing how it's supposed to be done down to Davis. And this guy flops his way into an offensive foul. I'm sorry. No offense to Davis. If you're getting put to the floor like that against Austin Davis, go to the weight room, sir. Anyway, Franz, good defense there. Number 24, John Walker can't get that one. Dickinson remains to be a force there. They follow him off in there as well. There's a pass. That uh, just goes into the stands. I don't know what this lady is doing. She's dancing, so I felt like I should include it. Um, anyway, here's Franz Wagner. Again, he catches it off the run here, and it's so tough, right? Because off of this ball screen, right? You have Franz Wagner coming here. Again, here's your ball screen. Someone has to fly out to three-point land, right? Because he can hit those, and that's got to be on the scouting report. And instead, he catches it on the run, and that provides, look at that. He's already got the, that momentum, right? They've been feasting on that all year. And Franz is so good with that right hand, and it's just great. So here's something I hate, right? Doesn't matter much for this game, but Shawnee Brown has no business doing this, right? You could argue, is it a call or is it not? Don't let the ref make that call, right? He's putting body into him, so it's probably the right call. There's 11 minutes left in the first half. Got to be smarter than that. Uh, gives up the basket there to Weathers. He drives well. Here, Dickinson with one of his six turnovers on the game. So that one, they doubled him down low. They doubled him often. As well, here, Zeb Jackson with the pink shoes getting in the game. Nails a three there. Good to see from him. Here you have a pass over to the ghost in the chair, right? I don't know who he's passing it to right here. I don't know. But uh, that one goes out of bounds. So turnover is big issue for Texas Southern throughout the season in this one as well. This, I thought they were going to call it a, a jump ball, right? This guy did too. But they call this a foul on Shawnee Brown, all right? Let's watch it again from the same angle. I thought like right here, all right, Shawnee Brown has it. Okay, that looks like a jump ball, right? Then you see this other angle where like, okay, maybe at the end of this play, right? Like I would call a jump ball right there. And then sure, right here, Shawnee Brown does get like a little bit of a grip there and pull him down. But like, I thought it should have been called before that. I like this though. Like credit this guy, either he found the camera or found the ref. Either way, A plus freeze frame right there. With the point, got to respect it. 14-point game, though. Here, number 33, good drive. Good tip in there for Yauza Rasas. That's a great name. 
Dickinson giving it to Rosas. Yauza Rosas down low there and putting in that basket. Ooh. Number 11 going with a little crossover. Eli Brooks steals that one. Zeb Jackson, again, another three. People are evacuating the stands. You got, ooh, back it up. Back it up. Look at Franz. Franz with the little, the little three salute. Never seen that before. These random fans, they, they love it. Maybe they're, I don't know, affiliated family. Um, but what a, what a, oh, oh, so he does it too, right? Is that a thing? I don't know. I'm a loser, but uh, <laughs> good for Zeb Jackson. Good drive there. Number 33, Quentin Bingham. Bingham. So here, I loved it. Here, I loved it. Watch uh, watch Michael Weathers here, right? Boom, right in the wrist. That's a foul. He turns towards the ref, and the ref is like, what, like, what are you saying, man? Like, he shrugs right back at him. The dude can't believe it. <laughs> Give him an Oscar for that acting job. And then I don't know how that's a foul. That looked like a pretty good block. Looks like everyone's vertical there, right? I don't know about that. Dickinson doesn't like it. Juwan Howard doesn't like it. Dickinson takes out the anger with a turnover, unfortunately. So 13-point game, closing out the first half here. Great defense from Mike Smith initially. Looks like he got pushed over here, right? You can see right after this one, boom. 11 kind of like pushes him a little bit. So I don't know. He gets his own tip in. Again, I'm a biased guy, right? Looks like he could have pushed him a little bit, went uncalled, but so be it. Nine-point game here. Franz Wagner fakes the little uh, drive, gives it into Dickinson. Nice little turnaround here, right? That's his bread and butter. In the left, over the right shoulder, boom. Good luck. He won the end one. Didn't get it, though. 11-point game now. Here, that's a tough fadeaway shot. Went with the air ball. Not the best of strategies. Here, 33 with what looked like a random shot, but... Anyway, that one is blocked from Johns. Uh, here you have Weathers again. Tough little floater shot. That doesn't go in. Shot clock violation. 16-point game at this point there. Nice backdoor cut, right? Mike Smith is closing out a little bit too hard here, right? Gives the inside. Good recognition there for number 11 and then a difficult finish. Good job from Terrence Williams coming over to help on defense, but just couldn't get that one going. Here, great little move there from front. It's subtle, right? This is a subtle move. Franz with the catch because this guy is closing out so hard. This drive for, from Franz forces Weathers to get into the key to to help guard and prevent this drive from Franz Wagner. That opens up a ton of space on the wing for Mike Smith to spot up. So you can see right there that creates plenty of space for Mike Smith to nail that three, and that's all created from Franz Wagner. So good job from him. Here, number eleven, nice tough little drive. Good defense though. John's able to pull that rebound down. Another good drive from Franz, creating that opportunity. Tips it back out to Smith. And then you got the pass to Terrence Williams. He goes down low, gets the foul. So Franz doing a lot of things that maybe aren't showing up on the box score with his passing and effort there. That's good defense from Terrence Williams. Weathers, just he's a bucket, man. He's able to find it. Mike Smith, nice drive there off of the screen. And last shot of the half here. Again, another air ball, bold strategy. Cotton here, really bad pass from Weathers. Mike Smith says, I don't like your shorts. Boom. Brooks with the three-pointer. Number 11 here, Jordan Gilliam with the miss. Able to get that rebound, though. Yauza Razas, got to box him out. So boxing out, rebound, something that Michigan struggled with, especially in the second half. That's a really tough shot. Good job from Eli Brooks denying that one. Here, Johns, really good decisive move here right right off the catch he notices the momentum of Yauza. i'm just gonna say this guy's name twelve thousand times and johns recognizes this space right steven's geometry is back diagrams right so he notices that space takes advantage of the momentum of Yauza and able to get the basket there good to see from him this guy just takes a three-pointer from the moon misses that one Dickinson, spot up a little jumper there, right? If he can consistently show off that shot, good luck to defenses, right? Here, 24, backing down. It's John Walker. Tough basket over Franz. That's a good one. Here he is again going that one. That one gets blocked. Just a little bit more hustle there. Uh, number 15 here, Justin Hopkins. You can see Brooks has to spot up his man, right? He leaves this lane open if he's trying to find a guy instead of just watching. Right, he would have been able to do that. Instead, he didn't. Gets the reach in there, and there's your end one. So just can't be doing that, right? Got to stay on your game. Yauza with another rebound here.
but good strip from Johns. Able to get that one. Here's Johns on the other end. Oh, I'm going to take a three. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, I am. Boom. Hits that one. Again, if you can consistently show off range, that'll be huge for replacing Isaiah Livers. All right, Dickinson gets called here for being a large human, right? You like that? You see that screen set so many times. They call it a moving screen. He's barely moving, right? He falls over like he got hit by a freight train because that's probably what it did feel like. But if that guy's not, you know, 50 pounds lighter than Dickinson, he's not going to flop like that. Anyway, that guy hits a basket over Johns. It's a tough shot. There's another tough shot. Somehow gets followed by Yauza Davis, the craftiest dude under the basket, right? Look at that footwork. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boom, drop step. Exactly what you want to see. Lovely. Love to see it. Here, Mike Smith. Good defense there, right? Jordan Gilliam just able to put that one away. Better offense. Here, Franz Wagner. Oh, yeah. They, I forgot all about this play. So, Davis here somehow gets called. What's he? Like, he's just creating space here, right? I don't know how this is voice crack. I don't know how this is a foul against Davis. He's just backing into this dude, creating space. And this ref is so emphatic. Like, look at his movement here on this foul call. He's like, oh, it's that way. And it's like, whoa, man. Calm down a little bit. Here, Mike Smith, number 33, tried to give him a little, little pull the seat out of him, but he's able to finish there. Good job, Davis. Again, patient, right? Patient under the basket. Able to put that one away. I hate this camera angle. I'll know what that was, but that's an and one for Weathers. Weathers again. He's good, man. He just beat him off the dribble. Able to put that one away. Here, Mike Smith from the wing puts down that three. And it's a 20-point game at this point. This guy, again, he just takes three-pointers from the moon, hits that one. Davis puts that one up. Nice dish there from Mike Smith. Oh, one thing I had to point out because I watched it throughout the game. This guy's just getting in high knees throughout the game. Watch this guy run. High knee, high knee, high knee. Look at that. I mean, it's a, it's amazing. I didn't... Pfft, who is this guy? I love it. Who runs like that? <laughs> it's crazy. Um, anyway, Terrence Williams driving. Boom, and one, right? Good for him to put together. Flexing on the bench. I like his hair, too. Whatever he's done with that. He's got the little multicolored. I don't even know what the style is, but it looks good. There, Davis. Good closeout on that three. Again, the all air ball approach for Texas Southern. Except for that. That's a good dunk. Out of 33, Quinton Bingham. That one, ooh. They called this one out of bounds against Michigan, right? So it's a missed shot from Zeb Jackson, right? It, all right, if we if we go into our geometry here again, this is an arm. And if it hits this arm, it's going to go this way. I don't see how it doesn't hit his arm, right? That looks pretty definitively off of that dude's arm. Sure, Terrence Williams' arm is behind him after the fact. But uh, anyway, this is what Juwan Howard, listen up here. And uh, no one can believe it. And listen, Juwan Howard here. Texas Southern shot it at 28% from the field. They're shooting 42% in the second half. LSU has... He's saying, you're guessing, man. You're guessing. And the ref's like, I knew it. And it's like, okay. All right, sir. Here, this guy somehow puts this basket away. I don't know how this was a foul. Again, is there body right there? Right? You got to be saying maybe there's body. Because the arm doesn't really hit anything for Weathers. Shawnee Brown doesn't. So, they call that an and one and watch out. You know, you got Texas Southern coming back a little bit. Here, Dickinson down low, trying to get going again. There, able to put that one down low. Again, good spacing there. Good spacing. Good job from Terrence Williams. Getting to the key, finding Dickinson out down low. It's just too big. Here, the easiest points of the game, Dickinson, on the fast break there. Or the they were trying to trap. Here again, though, trying to beat the trap in a pass from Franz. Doesn't find its home here. Bad defense. I don't know what happened here. Let's actually go back. Let's do some live analysis. What happened? Yeah, it looks like Johns is just trying to get back here, right? You got Mike Smith on number five. That's not good. Um, so it looks like there's a miscommunication. They don't know which one's supposed to be back here. And Texas Southern recognized it before anyone on the Wolverines knew there was a guy back there. So that's not great. You got to check your man. Here, good backdoor cut. Franz Wagner. He's got to be smarter than that, right? He just kind of loses him. Loses his, his man, and he's able to go for a dunk. He also made it seem like he expected Dickinson to be down there, right? Like, Dickinson just kind of goes to the top of the key. It's like they're in the middle of a change here. So, anyway, this guy cuts. 
Dickinson's running away for whatever reason, and this guy backdoor cuts. And then you see after the play, they're kind of questioning, like, whoa, why weren't you there? And uh, just miscommunication. All, all of a sudden, it's a 12-point game, right? Dickinson down low puts that one in. And then they call an offensive foul. He can't believe it. That's his fifth, right? If this is any reasonably sized center he's doing this move against, if that's Kofi Coburn and not Yauza down low, this is not called a foul, right? It's called a foul because he's a large man and his large arms hurt some smaller people. But ball doesn't lie. So Yauza misses that first one. Dickinson's like, yep. And the second one misses as well. So ball doesn't lie. Furthermore, Weathers misses on that possession he got from the flagrant foul. So ball doesn't lie thrice. And then there, boom, Wagner. The ball is truthful. And it goes in. So now it's 15-point game. Another air ball. Not the best for Texas Southern. Got about a minute left. Smith with a patented blow by and it's 17 point game. This they'll call an and one for whatever reason, a Houdini foul. You see Davis, I don't see any contact there, right? Am I crazy? Maybe he brushes him right there. Doesn't look like much. I don't know. Maybe I'm a crazy person. You can call me out for it. 14 point game. And then, okay, so this is my main thing. Oh, also, that elbow from Dickinson, I didn't call that out. They call that a flagrant one, all right? I meant to call that out. So then when number 11 here smacks, <laughs> literally smacks Smith in the face, that's not a flagrant. Everyone's approaching him like, what are you doing? Anyway, that's the game. Texas Southern taking it hard. You know, they had a good season. 15 out of the last 16, they have won. Weathers, quite a baller. He's a great, great player for them. So tough for them. But 82-66, Michigan picks up the win, right? So let's get into stats here. Smith, 18 points on 6 of 12 shooting, 5 assists, 4 rebounds, 1 steal. Dickinson, 16 points, 6 of 7 shooting, 2 rebounds, 3 blocks, and 6 turnovers. Brooks, 11 points, 3 of 6 three-point shooting, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals. All right, let's move on to three key points. Number one, a win is a win is a win is a win, right? So some ugliness toward the end there. Got to stay locked in. You can't be doing that against better teams in, in, down the line in the tournament. But the dagger three-pointer from Wagner, you know, it, 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 Michigan pulled it together, right, at the end. It, it didn't get into single digits. So team got it done when it was all said and done, and that's what matters, right? Survive in advance. Number two. Jackson and Johns stepped up a little bit, right? Zeb Jackson, a couple three-pointers in the first half. His point, first points, I believe, since January. So teams having to respect him from three-pointer, uh, from three-point land, will help open up Michigan's offense when he is in the game. So that's just really good to have, right? And then Johns, obviously, he's in the starting lineup without Isaiah Livers. He showed up on defense. He put in a three-pointer, 11 points for him. Got to the free-throw line eight times, put in six of those. So him having an impact is really good. He looked comfortable, too, in the starting role, and that's really important moving forward here. Number three, there are st still things to clean up ahead of the LSU game, number eight seed. Uh, that'll be Michigan's next matchup, rebounding, number one, right? That's something you definitely have to clean up on. I think Michigan got outworked a little bit at times in the second half, gave up second chances, and obviously that's not something that's going to work against better teams. And then there are guys that L LSU have – that are extremely uh, opponent-independent buckets. And what I mean by that is they can create their own shot, just like we saw with Michael Weathers for Texas Southern, right? That guy had 24 points. Michigan will have to play better man-on-man -man defense to restrict guys like that because LSU has a couple of them, not just the one in Weathers that Texas Southern had today. So that's all I got for you guys. Again, comment, subscribe, like, all of that. But appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Michigan gets the win. Advance to the round of 32. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there. And as always, go blue.